Have you ever really wondered how a robot eats something? Or more in particular, how a robo bird eats some fruit? Well, in this video I'm going to show you how a robot can eat by sending the virtual into reality through the use of an iPad app and a Red Park serial cable. So what we have here is just a Red Park um, serial cable for iOS devices. It goes from 30 pin to DB9, which I then break out into TTL so that an Arduino can listen to the data. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. And then I'll start the app that I created. Also turn road right around so that you can see. So let me show you what a raspberry does. Let me just turn up the volume. There we go. So what happens is whenever I touch one of these fruits, then a sound plays, but also data is being sent from the app into this cable, magical things happen, and then it gets transported into the Arduino. So let me show you that. And that causes Robert's wings to flap up and down. And now when the fruit is placed inside of Robert's mouth, the same process happens except different data is sent so that Robert knows that it's, it's eating the food. So we can do this for all of the fruit. So that is how you feed a robo bird. Now let's take a look at the code to see how this really works. In order to use the Red Park SDK to communicate to your Red Park cable, all that we have to do is include two header files and one uh, compiled library file, a .a file. After that, we have to modify our info plist to make sure that we include the right uh, protocol for the, ex for the supported external accessory protocols. After that, it's all up to the code. And inside of the code, inside the .h file, there's a protocol here called Red Park Serial Cable Manager Delegate. This will allow us to use all of the really useful delegate methods that we'll go into more later. To set up the cable variable sort of thing, it's just a RSC manager called manager. And there's just um, two buffers here, a TX and an RX buffer, and that allows us to be able to send and receive data, or at least store the data there for the uh, RSC manager to actually send it. So taking a look at the actual code here, um, here are all the delegate methods. They're really handy, so cable connected, cable disconnected, port status changed, red bytes available, message received and did receive port config, and there's definitely ways to interact with all these delegate methods. Um, for example, in cable connected, I just make sure that the manager's baud rate is 9600, then I open the connection and after that I make sure that this UI image view has a green light image to signify on the view that yes, the, the cable is connected. And as for disconnected, it's almost the same thing except for this time it's a red light and there's no other things with the manager. And so when a fruit is touched, what happens is that the first byte um, is set to be the touched view tag. 
So whatever the fruit's UI view tag number is, then that will be the first byte. And then the second byte is just a one, and that's in order to um, signify to Robert's Arduino code that the fruit has only been touched or picked up, and it hasn't been fed yet. So when the touches, when the touches are ended, and when the fruit is within Robert's mouth, then the first bite is once again the touched view tag. Then the second bite is a two, which in Robert's Arduino code signifies that the fruit was eaten so that it can open and close its beak. So let's take a look at said Arduino code here. And as you can see, there's no real libraries that we have to import here in order to use the Red Park serial cable. It's all using um, just normal hardware serial. So in this case, Robert's case, it's serial too, because I'm using an Arduino Mega with Robert. So what we do first here is we check to see that the serial port is available, and then we uh, grab the bytes in the RX buffer, and um, this length variable is um, what we set it to in order to make sure that um, it looks at everything. And then we just grab what type of food it is by looking at the first integer in the RX buffer. Oops, there it is. So that's the food. And then the value of the food is just the second integer in the RX buffer. And from there, we can do um, either like uh, opening its beak to eat, uh, opening and closing, or flapping its wings to uh, to if it's um, if it's being picked up. And then we set RX index back to zero, and that's it for the code.